If you run any sort of Facebook or Instagram ads and you run them specifically through the meta business suite, and you may be wondering how they're performing, what's the click-through rate, what are the impressions, what's the reach, I'm gonna show you right now exactly how to look at how your ads are performing. So first things first, go onto your computer. You can go to facebook.com. You can also go to business.facebook.com. But I'm gonna show you right now how to get to the ads manager, which is quite frankly, sometimes the hardest part. So we'll go to Facebook and then we wanna to get to this menu icon, these nine dots. Then we're gonna scroll down here to either ads manager or you might have meta business suite. We can click on either of those. Let's just click on ads manager. Once this loads, now left-hand side, we wanna get over here to our campaigns. You might have a different layout. I've seen over the past 18 months, different layouts on different computers with different people. If you don't see campaigns here, you'll have to hit all tools and choose ads manager this way. It might still then default you to this screen. So now we wanna to go to campaigns. Also too, it's possible that you are signed in under the wrong ads account. You might be under your personal account versus your business account. So what you need to do is once you get to this screen for the ads manager, top left corner, click on this profile image and just make sure that it's the account selected under your business account. So you can see here it defaulted to my personal account. So I need to switch over to my business account, which now I'm gonna click on. It's gonna be a whole different setup. So I'm gonna go over here to my campaigns. I, I'm a bit more advanced. I've got a lot of different ads accounts, so I actually have to take another step here. And now I'm within my business account, but then I have multiple ads accounts. So I'm actually gonna select another ad account from up top. But for most of you, you should just be able to click business account and get to this screen. Next important step, which a lot of people miss, is Facebook will default the time frame for the ads to the month or relatively a recent time frame. We need to hit this drop down we need to hit maximum for the date preset so we can see everything that's ever performed. I like to look at all of my data this way. If you're running your ads now, you're gonna see here your breakdown of your campaigns with your ad sets, with your ads, when these were set up, okay? So now if I wanna look at a select specific ad campaign and maybe ads within that campaign, what I like to do is I like to check the box next to that campaign. You can see here I've got two ad campaigns that are running, they're active right now. These are inactive, they've ran their course. So let's just say I'm gonna look at my awareness ads within this ad campaign. I've selected this box. Now I'm gonna go over to this folder, I'm gonna go one step deeper. Now I can see all of my ad sets within that ad campaign, okay? You can see here I've got one ad that's active, I've got other ads that have run. I can even take it one step further over and look at the ads themselves. A lot of the data, the columns will be the same. I like to look at the reach and the impressions when I'm running awareness ads, okay? I like to look at the frequency score. I like to see all this information. I can see it under the ad set level or the ad level. Also, if you're looking for specific metrics, you can look at different metrics that break down over here and you can add additional columns within these, within these metrics. So you can see what you wanna see, okay? So you can add columns, remove columns, but I like to look at reach, I like to look at my impressions. Typically for me with awareness ads, I wanna know how many times has my ad been shown and how many people has it reached. I do a lot of brand awareness ads. If you've worked with me in the past, you have probably have, have brand awareness ads set up for yourself that are reaching your followers, your Facebook friends, your database lists, your leads, your farm area, et cetera. So if I wanna look at this ad, for example, and scroll over, I can see so far I've spent about 15 bucks on it. It's got almost 1,300 impressions. It's reached over 1,000 people. And my frequency score, that means how many times has it been shown to someone on average, is just over one. Personally, I like to get my frequency score up to around maybe a four or a five. I want some frequency. I want that individual to see my ad multiple times, typically within a 30-day period. So what this tells me is I may wanna beef up my ad spend and increase my budget to get to that number, or I wanna extend out the length of time that I wanna run my ad for so that I can get that frequency score up and show that ad more times. This is gonna vary from person to person depending on how much money you're spending as well as how many people you're showing your ad to. So on average, if you spend a dollar per day on an ad that's gonna reach roughly 100 to 200 people, we gotta just figure out what are your metrics, what's your reach, 
and how quickly can we get to that frequency score. If you have any questions on this, reach out to me, Jared Larkin with Chicago Title. Visit my website, milehighttitleguide.com to learn more. If you want access to other real estate tools, resources, marketing strategies, ideas, feel free to follow along over here. You can sign up for my email newsletters. And I hope this was helpful. Talk to you later. Bye.